UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. Mesmerizing, mysterious creatures. They're unbelievably intelligent creatures. They're, just, they're a delight. Stunning deep sea panoramas. Erupting underwater volcanoes. This is lava that was uh, recently erupted onto the sea floor. This is Professor John Delaney's world. A mostly uncharted universe, he and his team at the University of Washington will soon be unveiling to the world above through the world's largest underwater observatory, allowing experts and all of us to scrutinize everything from sea life to seismic activity, transforming ocean science. We can't just go out there every now and then in a, in a ship. We've got to be there continuously throughout that entire volume so we can look at the, the biology, the chemistry, the physics, and how they all play off on one another. And the reason that that's important is that the ocean is ultimately is the fundamental life support system for the entire planet. So this is a very delicate operation. Professor Delaney is leading the $239 million University of Washington component of the National Science Foundation's Ocean Observatories Initiative. The UW team is constructing a massive deep sea cabled observatory spanning the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate off the Washington and Oregon coasts. It will use remote controlled instruments and fiber optic cables to almost instantly transmit round the clock high definition video and data from the seafloor to the internet, dramatically expanding and perhaps critically redefining our view of the ocean. And the problem is even those who live near the ocean look out at it and they see a place to surf, a place to fish, a place where waves come in, storms come. But it's so much more than that. It's, it's a gigantic four-dimensional engine that basically runs the stability of the planet. It has been a monumental project for the professor of oceanography in the University of Washington. UW scientists and engineers have spent years designing and rigorously testing the network and the instruments that will be deep underwater. The system will digitize all the data from those instruments and send it back to land via fiber optic cables. So this is part of the magic of what, what's going in the water. This is, has been stripped down. What you see at the top here are four fibers, each one of them capable of 100 gigabit per second bandwidth. Hundreds of miles of these cables have been laid on the seafloor off the Washington and Oregon coasts. And this summer, Delaney and his team will install thousands of feet of extension cables that will be connected later to instruments. Once connected, the system will begin transmitting video and many other types of information about the ocean. But whatever it is, if it's going on in that volume of the ocean, 500 by 500 kilometers on the side off Washington and Oregon, it's going to be accessible to the public. The program was officially launched when federal funding arrived at the UW in 2009. But Professor Delaney began talking about it some 18 years earlier. Now the project he spent nearly two decades discussing and implementing should be ready for its public unveiling next year. Will I celebrate? That's a good question. I will celebrate when I see the thing actually working. But mostly I'll celebrate if 10 years from now many groups are using this type of a system where young people are getting excited about designing next generation and two generations out technologies to operate within the ocean so that we can learn how the ocean works. He passionately believes we cannot truly understand our world above or for that matter any world beyond until we can comprehend this world below. Now thanks to technology he's able to grab the world by the hand and lead it to this mysterious frontier below, a frontier we can no longer afford to ignore. But it is the life support system for the planet. We must understand the ocean. It is our future.